Okay, in this clip I want to show you how to plot uh, graphs, in this case an XY scatter graph again, using a different approach which gives you a little bit more control over how you plot things. And in this case in particular we want to plot two separate values, um, one as a line and one as a series of dots. So column A is our latitude values which have been converted to radians using, let's click on column B or cell B3 using the radians formula and in addition column C contains the theoretical gravity calculated using the 1967 uh, theoretical gravity formula which is shown up here you can see it has two coefficients that one and that one two sine terms 1 to the power 2 squared and 1 to the power 4 and the reference value here is the gravity at the equator at zero latitude. Anyway, read the notes uh, on, on this to make sure you understand where that comes from. But essentially we have two latitudes, predicted gravity and a third column here which is showing values that let's pretend represent a different model which we want to compare to the 1967 model. Okay, so we need to plot these two columns on the y axis and the latitudes on the x axis. So in this case we go to insert scatter select scatter graph and we end up with a blank chart uh, area because we haven't yet picked the values. Now in this case you right click with the mouse inside the chart area and you get this dialog. Scroll down to select data, click and you get in a different dialog window and in this case we are going to add each series one at a time. So the first thing we do is click add and it's saying what series do you want? Series name we can say well let's click that cell up there which enters the value in that cell as the name of the series in this case it's going to be G predicted G. The X series for that set of data you click in the dialog there and then select in this case click drag just the values not the title, note the title is not selected, just the values which are entered here. Sheet 1, A2 to A20. That's A2 to A20. And you could have entered those manually by typing these values into the dialog. Uh, simpler and quicker uh, to click the column using the mouse. Now the C Y series, the values on the Y axis in this case, are going to be the gravity values. So highlight equals curly bracket one, curly bracket close and delete that. And then select the values of G that you want to plot. So in this case C2 to C20. So the corresponding gravity values that match the latitudes. And then click OK. If we pull that down so you can see the graph we now have one set of data, the G milligal values plotted against latitude. But now we can add as many series as we want. So we go back, drag the, the select data source dialog so you can see, and click add. We get a second series this time. And we are going to say, this will be model, the X value, so click in the X select latitude then select the values which are going to be the model and this kind of click and drag down ok click ok and pull that down so you can see now we have our second set of data plotted on the same x values and a y axis scale similarly so we can now do various things like edit the names of your series, remove them, remove the order uh, in which they plot, etc. Or just in this case, we'll say that's fine, click OK. 
one of the things you might do, of course, is say, well, we want to compare the model, which we're going to show as a line rather than a series of dots. So you can edit the, how the graph looks by double clicking on the, the red squares. Uh, you could pick uh, marker options and say no markers, but the line color, we want no line. No, we do want a line. We want a solid line and the color is going to be green. That's quite a nice color. Choose that. Good. Okay. So now our model is the line and the observations, such as we're defining them here, are a series of dots. So you can see that the graph now nicely compares the observations and the model in a visually simple way. The last thing you might want to do is edit the graph, for example. You can scale the size, position most things just by clicking and dragging the elements like that. I don't like the grid lines, so I'm going to click them and then delete them by hitting delete. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add some axis labels to the graph. And in this case, on my version of Excel, I go up here to Chart Tools, click Layout, Axis Titles, Primary Vertical. We'll have one of those. Go back again, Primary Horizontal. We'll have one of those. There you go. And then I just edit the uh, actual text. So this is latitude in degrees. Okay, you can simply position that and this title is going to be gravity in milligal. Okay. And if you select the element on the graph and place the cursor within the box and right click, you can format various elements, aspects of that element. So format axis title. I want it to the alignment to be normal, not stacked. I want it to be run up. There we go. Kay. So now I have a relatively simple scatter plot that shows latitude on the x-axis. Our two series of data are so-called observations of G and the model of G plotted on the y-axis and now we can discuss whether or not they match, for example, um, and job done.